lot of people think of Oxford County, they think of rural farmland, but there is sort of a hidden talent. There are a lot of creative people, creative artists that make Oxford County their home. And I think it's because of organizations like the Creative Arts Centre, the Station Arts Centre, the Woodstock Art Gallery that really, you know, have sort of nurtured that. There's a very creative community here in Tilsonbergen area, and we're very fortunate that these groups like to use a facility and contribute to the community. We have the Bridge Street Artists, we have the Station House Potters, we have the Tilsonberg Photography Club, we have the Tilsonberg Videography Club, we have the Tilsonberg and Area Miniature Enthusiast Group. We have a full range and gamut as far as medium and art forms. It is always free to come to the Woodstock Art Gallery. Admission is by donation. We offer historical and contemporary rotating exhibitions on a monthly basis and also house the largest collection of postmodern artist Florence Carlyle's work in a public gallery in North America. The Creative Arts Center is in its uh, 39th year. We have programs for adults and children. The main areas are quilting, fiber arts, pottery, and uh, painting. Our pottery studio, it's very sophisticated, um, having the kilns to fire pottery and workspace to have wheels and a slab roller. We're really, really fortunate. We want people to come for pleasure. On the other hand, we have uh, members and instructors that have won international awards. My name is Shirley Clifford. I'm a potter. I live in Oxford County, and I belong to the Ingersoll Creative Arts Center. My work is very varied. I do a lot of different kinds of things because I like different looks. So my signature work is my raku work. It has an orangey gold luster and they're larger pieces. My name's Shane Norrie. I'm a ceramic artist and painter and I live in Ingersoll. My work uh, in terms of ceramic is very organic and very textural, the same with my paintings. With the ceramic what I try to do is have pieces that appear as though they've been unearthed or have a sense of history to them. I am inspired by Oxford County landscapes. It's funny, in a lot of my paintings, I sort of, I'll drive around, take photos of trees, buildings, farmland, just scenery that's local and incorporate them into my work. I'm Sue Goosens, I'm a resident of Otterville, Ontario, and I'm an artist. I paint primarily in watercolors. I live in Oxford County, so a lot of my artwork focuses around Oxford County. A lot of the activities I'm involved in as an artist are centered, obviously, in Oxford County. Because we have such a large number of creative spirits here, we're starting to see more and more events happening. So for example, we have a studio tour, the Oxford Studio Tour in the spring. As well, we have Oxford Creates in the, in the fall, and we have the Oxford Photographic Arts Guild who have events throughout the year. We're very fortunate in Oxford because from border to border, there is scenery for anyone traveling through. There are spaces for everybody, whether you're a photographer or an oil painter or watercolors, there is artists of all kinds. Another uh, new venture that's going to be started Starting in the spring, the Elmhurst Inn will be having Art in the Park on the front lawn on Sundays affiliated with their very, very successful brunch. In the fall of 2011, a long-term dream for a number of people in this community of Woodstock and Oxford County is coming true. The Woodstock Art Gallery will be moving to a $5.5 million state-of-the-art facility and it will be the best thing for all of us as far as the arts and culture is concerned because that grant was all about believing in what we're doing here. It's unexpected to come here and find that many professional high-end artists with wonderful work and a variety. I mean, we've got the pottery, the quilting, the glasswork, the paintings, wonderful jewelry. So I think people are quite surprised when they come on the tour. It's just been an ongoing, increasing amount of artists that are coming out of the woodwork and we're a very, very talented group that are living here. It's wonderful. <laughs>